Hello everybody, this is Cedric Green and today is August the 24th, Saturday night. And this is the time, all right. And here's another video I'm, I'm putting out for y'all. Like I'm finally doing, doing this right now. I'm finally gonna start to connect all these batteries in parallel right now, as I can see. So I got all the reds, jump to all the reds on every two batteries, as I can see. Jump to red, 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 and red, and red, and red, until I get them all connected. And then I'm gonna start with the, do the, the negatives. Like these are the negative, right here, the negative here, and negative over here, and then I'm going to have all negative so on, you know, until I get all the negative connected all together and all the positive connected together for 24 volts at 900 amp hours, all right? So I'm still using these from my lead acid batteries. I used to use these on and stuff, so this is what I'm doing. Now I got to shape each one to fit every terminal and jump over to each terminal without touching or anything. If I use these flies right here, I have to still bend the ends and then bend this straight to make it make a complete jump right here and, and jump right here so they won't be touching on each positive and negative. As you can see, don't get confused. This is this is negative, but I got this on red, but the other end is it's black for negative. I just got to remember that, all right? So, this is how I'm doing it, everyone. This is how I'm doing it. First, I got to get all the batteries hooked up from parallel. Use as many of these I still have around and all this. All this and all that as I can. I probably have to make some if I run out using these. And then where I got left for this, then I have it. Coming around through here and have a positive right here and the negative right here to this switch right here. Which means I can't have run one set of uh, 900 amp hours or both sets of these batteries for 1800 amp hours, as you can see. So it's gonna take a lot of careful shaping, bending and shaping of these wires and safely connect these wires but it won't be touching and everything. It's gonna be kind of tight, but it should work though. So y'all just bear with me. You're gonna get this going. Y'all see how, how I'm gonna do it though. So it's getting these all connected and parallel for every two batteries for 24 volts, you know. I got to shape each wire, the positive and negative jump wire so I can jump straight over and stuff without being interfered by these connecting these in series for 24 volts mm -hmm. and all that so i'm gonna work it out and see how this goes hmm. okay i got one wire the positive wire i had to straighten out the wire like this from from being this to being this and then make an arch. And then bend it up to make an arch to reach from this positive to this positive and so on. So let's do that. Okay, I got a per the perfect arch and looks like it's gonna go from this positive to this positive without touching the negative or anything, you can see. Mm -hmm. Now I got to bend these each of these straight, like I'm doing right here. Kinda do this. Kinda scope it out. Look like a handle, doesn't it, huh? Bend these like that. You can see, as you can see right there, it's kinda flat-wise to put on top. go just like this from positive to positive gonna make sure they match the screws that like it's gonna match I'm about to adjust a little bit so let's do that 
And the number one thing about when you're pulling these kind of batteries in the batteries is safety concern. Safety first. You got to be very careful, okay? So it look like it's gonna work. So start to screw them down and, and, and keep jumping accordingly. This in right here, and this in right here with ease. I'm talking about. And another thing while uh, putting these on is take some alcohol, a uh, wire brush, and kind of wipe these off, wipe the acid residue off of it, off of both sides, as you can see. So to make some good connections on the battery terminal, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Mm-hmm. And you can have a good connection while you're connecting them. Yeah, I got to tie all these four to these right here. And tie all these four to these and then on to these. I got to tie all these together in parallel, positive and negative. So I just hope I have enough wire to do it with. As you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got these four batteries hooked in parallel. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. And I'm going to get these four right now. Jump these in parallel. And I'll be tied in. I'm mad. Let's check the voltage to make sure it's still 26 point whatever voltage is 26.4 volts there we go <laughs> these four sets mm -hmm. in parallel 200 amp hours 200 200 200 200 100 these two here yeah. 100. All right, I finally finished all the batteries. I got them all hooked up in parallel. As you can see, like all these are positive right here, all, all around, into here, into this battery, and all around in here, across these. And all around here, across these here, and here's the negatives right here. All right here, going across, over there and over there. And jumps right here, over here. And then here's the positive D's right here, going over and stuff, you know. Got a voltage of 24 volts. Let's check it out. This positive right here. And touch the negative. And we got 26.4 volts. See what they're doing right now, they all are balancing themselves right now. They all, because some of them may, may not be 13.3 or 13.4. Point threes, point two, uh, point five. So right now they all are they're balancing right now, and then I'm tightening all the screws so they have a good connection and all that. Just make sure, like that. And be careful. I don't want to want to touch. I did a couple of times, but I was very careful. You know, it sparked a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. So. <laughs> So the next thing to do is hook the main wires to the positive and the negative and then have them go up to the battery switch under my inverter. That's my next thing. All right, I'm going to start hooking the main wire, these two, to the battery bank. But first, I got the crimp and put these lugs on it, the 941 lug so I can... I screw them on the battery. See, this fits in, right in the hole right there, as you can see. The right size. Okay. 
got my tape sucking at the ends so, so it won't be exposed and be touching. And I got my my crimper cutter and crimper set right here so I can crimp the lugs on, you know. So, and, uh, all right, just crimp this right here, as you can see, on the black. I'm gonna do the red the same way. And all right, I got the red and black wire crimped and, and wrapped with electrical tape to prevent any sharpness or anything, you know. So let's go on the head and start stringing them behind now, all right? Let's do it. I got a piece of coat hanger wire right here. I can just put them on here. Okay. Just like that. I got to go up there and pull it up and through. There you go. Right up here. That's about all I need right there. All right, take them loose and kind of hang this. Right here for the negative. Hit this right here for the positive. Okay, just got eat the wires. Right down there. I had to tackle the wires to hold each one against the wall and take it down there to the batteries. So let's do that. Okay, as of now, I have decided to put the red on this terminal right here with these other two wires. I'm about to use a longer screw to hold all three wires together on that terminal and put this, this black wire, this negative wire on this terminal right here. I'm about to use it. the other longer screws to hold all three of the wires together so it, I can get an even draw from all the batteries because they all circle, circle right here. That's where all the power will come out from these two terminals right here, as you can see. So let's do that. Let's crimp the ends and get them connected. All right, got the other end crimped and everything and wrapped up. Let's start connecting the cables. The negative right here and the positive right here. You know, maybe later on in the future, I may buy an innocent plug and put it on the end so I can unplug it, disconnect it like I have on my battery box. I just hope the, the length of this wire ain't too much like the length of this wire from a battery box is right under the inverter. This is pretty much kind of further away, but but hopefully it should not make any difference, you know. I need to connect the cables right here first. Connect those first and then connect these here where they need to be to be safe, you know. So let's do that. This is completed right here. And this one's completed right here on the positive also. 
So sooner or later, I'm gonna put an Emerson plug like I got right here. It's an Emerson plug right there. Um, these are the batteries under my bench though. Y'all can just disconnect them and put my batteries away and stuff right in the problems. All right. Now let's connect the wires on the batteries. That's too short for three wires though. Get the negative wire right here. The negative, as you can see, is connected where I want it to connect and go on down under my bench up to the switch. Now let's connect the positive, okay? This goes right here. All right, got the negative connected and got the positive connected and they both are going back to the battery switch on my inverter. So let's take the voltmeter and see how much voltage we're getting through the cable from these batteries to the battery cutoff switch. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how much voltage I'm getting through the wire from, from the battery bank. Oh yeah, 26.4 volts. So we're talking about jail. So let's turn it on. It should show up here how much we're getting from the battery bank under my desk though. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I'm talking about it's working, it's working. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about 26.6 volts from the battery bank under my desk. So let's turn this one off, back off. Let's turn this battery bank on. The battery's in the battery box here. So let's see. Here we go. 26.6 volts, exactly the same. That's what I'm talking about. When I turn both of them on, let me see how much we're gonna have then. All right, got them both on. Still 26.6 volts. All I can do is just leave these on for a while and let them kind of self-balance and all that. But as of now, I'm finished with these connections. You see it's working. <laughs> so now, I am able to turn on either one of these on or both on for more capacity to run loads longer or I can run this whole house for a whole week on a charge before I put the solar panels or the wind turbine on them, you know, to keep them charged up. You never know. I'm at the end of August, you know, and we still got another month or so, to, two months to go till the end of November. And said we still have we have them something some waves going into the Gulf of Mexico. So so best be prepared, you know. I'm getting ready. So just in case the lights go out again, and you know you don't know what kind of hurricane or storm we may get later on before hurricane season is over, or any type of storm we may get, like we had the derecho back two or three months ago, and of course Bell, you know we had Ernesto. That's, that's gone away, and uh, we have some more still coming from Africa, kind of heading this way, you know. So, so we preppers must stay prepared, you know, and stay ready. So hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And may the solar be with you and all that. Sayonara, Jogenzai, Jin. Adios. See you on the next video.